Okay, good evening and welcome back to this week's Thursday Night Golf Show with myself, the average golfer, Joey. That tweet is next to me, ever present. You haven't missed a Thursday Night Show, funny enough. I have. Oh, yeah. Oh, no, well, no, no. I didn't really miss it. I was still here. Oh, yeah, yeah in person. Yeah, we had a bit yeah, of a, yeah, yeah, that's right, yeah. But, uh, yeah, great to see you back. Um, I was back on Monday. Your Monday's on. You're back on Monday, yeah? Yeah, didn't make an appearance. I what? Didn't. You did? Oh, I did. Yeah, we're yeah. doing well, are you? Drilled out. Bit of putter testing. Putting. Yeah. Have you watched that one yet? Good video, wasn't it? Mm, yeah, Very interesting. Was we'll mention that a bit later on, actually, in the show. So, uh, and a real, quite a busy week in terms of world golfing news, and uh, not necessarily just on the course either. Plenty, um, oh, it's not off the course, on the course, yeah. golf related, but uh, plenty of things going on. But let's start off with the kind of uh, what is um, world news, and it's a world new, a new world number one. Uh, Dustin Johnson, after all his sort of trials and tribulations over the past few years, he's now uh, the number one ranked golfer. Yeah. So what did he win? Win the Genesis Open. Yeah, yeah. 17 under. Yeah, interesting to see. He's, uh, when he's on form, Dustin, I mean, he bombs the ball absolutely miles, and when he's on form, he kind of looks at times pretty much untouchable. He's got plenty of control over that huge swing of his, and uh, yeah, uh, very impressive player. Risen to uh, world number one, and uh, we'll, we'll ask a question, I think, based on that just a bit later on in the show in terms of uh, this week's little bit of a debate anyway. Um, next bit of news, staying with um, sort of world news, and maybe looking into the future a little bit at this stage, but the, uh, there's been an announcement for the 2020 Open venue. Oh yeah, Royal St George, yeah. that one. That's down in Kent. Yeah, the last time it hosted it was in um, 2011. Right, and Darren, the winner was? Darren Clark. Oh, I'll tell you what, I'm you're on the ball, mate. Today, you're honestly. on the ball. So good to see you, 2020, back at Royal St George's. Um, and another, uh, again, going back on sort of um, announcements, really, but this is about the 2020 Olympics now. Yeah. Um, Tokyo, obviously, is the host venue. Yeah. There was an issue with the, uh, it was an all male. Yeah, um, like me field, Similar it? situation, yeah. They've, um, Basically said, if you don't get your act together and allow female members, yeah, we'll take the um, take it away, really. But saying that, they've got they've only got 15 members, and they need all 15 to agree on. I don't get that. How do you have a golf club with 15, 15 members? members? I know. There I must think. be. They've tried to have a vote once, but they've. Um, I always got that bit right. They've ca yeah, they have. They've cancelled. 15 members. They've cancelled the vote because they felt like they're getting pushed into a decision. It says here, browbeaten into changing the rules. Yeah. Whatever that means. But anyway, 15, 15 members, they must have one heck of a green fee or a lot of um, visitor golfers come through the place. Mm. Yeah, they do. But uh, whatever, it'd be interesting to see if they, um, well, if they accept the browbeating yeah. and decide to change the rules. But um, 15 very influential members there who are going to decide on whether or not uh, their club is the um, is the host club for the 2020 Olympic golf tournaments. Interesting to see how that one goes. Um, very quick one, we'll, 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 we'll start with the Rory story, um, which was a nice little rhyme there. Rory He's, um, he was pictured playing golf with um, Donald Trump. Mm -hmm. A bit of a controversial character, obviously, at the moment, but he's uh, Donald Trump, that is. Uh, Ro Arlo Rory's been quite yeah. opinionated over yeah. the Olympics yeah. and a few yeah. things yeah. of late, so uh, he's throwing his, uh, throwing his two penneth in. But yeah, pictured earlier this week playing golf in Florida with Donald Trump, and uh, whilst we don't want to get involved in politics, certainly not, it's very interesting to see some of the comments that uh, it was an ex Guardian golf correspondent made, and yeah, he thinks it was a bad all, decision, didn't he? No, saying. Um Basically, it's just about Rory being a public figure with the younger generation. And yeah. Him doing this isn't what influence he has. Yeah, really. isn't a good idea. Yeah, it's an interesting one. Like I said, one that we, well, I personally would probably rather sit on the fence with. But uh, all said, it's a very big news story and uh, involving world number three Rory McIlroy and obviously Donald Trump. Who, uh, f aside from the American pre presidency thing, he's got massive involvement in world golf. So. I think the first question would really be there is, uh, what are your thoughts on that? And uh, let's not get too bogged down, like I said, in the politics of it, but very uh, interested to see, I mean, should Rory have played with Donald Trump or was it a bad decision? Does it have any influence on, uh, on the message that he sends out to his following and uh, perhaps the younger generation? I don't know. Um, but sticking with Trump, he's uh, again, new course yeah, on the way. In um, Dubai, quite a big one, Trump International, Yeah. designed by um, 
I think Gil yeah, Hans. Hans yeah. yeah, I think he's um, I, I, he's Swedish, uh, Norwegian, something of that uh, Scandinavian origin. Very f the great Big reputation yeah. now. I hope I've got that bit right, by the way, because uh, yeah, maybe well. yeah, I'm not sure. I, I've, I've always thought that'd be the case, but that's not backed up with facts. So uh, I better check that one out. But what I do know is he's he's got a great reputation over the years in terms of his course designs, and you've made a list of some of his. Yeah, uh, the, um, Castle Stewart in Scotland. Yeah. Um, Craig Headlinks also from Scotland. Yeah, I think he had involvement with the Olympic course in Rio de Janeiro. Right. Well. Okay. I know he's got. I mean, if you read his kind of yeah, uh, portfolio, it's, it's endless, isn't it? And it's very, very impressive. Uh, so he'll be the man in charge of designing uh, Trump International. He's um, actually got some pictures as well. So already thrown up. Yeah, great. Sure got a few of them. Up. Great. I mean, to be fair, with love him or loathe him in terms of Donald Trump, what he does in terms of his golf courses is uh, produces some pretty fantastic uh, designs and, and, and venues so no doubt what he's putting together in Dubai will be pretty impressive too. Um, and then really it's a case of back with Rory, he's, uh, he's going to play in a, P a BMW PGA Championships. Yeah, um, Wentworth. A Wentworth, yeah. And in the Pro-Am he's actually going to be partnered with uh, this year with Ryan Giggs, the uh, ex-Man United player. Um, I think in previous years, I think last year, he perhaps, um, or the last time he played, was he with, and again, I'm throwing in stuff that's off the top of my head, so I might be wrong. Did he play with the uh, One Direction lad? Yeah, that the narrow, Irish. Hard, yeah, hard, hard I think he's played with him on a few occasions. Yeah. Whether it was at that, I'm again, I might just be uh, giving some duff information out here, Joe. Again. Again. <laughs> again, yeah. Right, so that is it in terms of uh, world golfing news. Um, but I said about a question. And uh, Dustin Johnson, like I said, he's just gone to world number one in, in the rankings at the moment and uh, probably changed a bit over the last uh, 12 months or so. I think we've had, we've had Rory, we've had um, Jason, Jason Day, was number one. Spieth, yeah, he was number um, one. and then obviously now Dustin Johnson. The question really is, is that um, who do we really think is, in your opinion, the best player in the world right now? So in... On paper, obviously in world rankings, Dustin is rightly there. But, like I said, we've all got our own opinions on who we might think is the player at the moment that is right at the top of the game and is the best player in the world right now in terms of form. Now you've got um, people like Jordan Spieth is right back Jordan on his game Spieth, after a bit yeah. of a dip, isn't he? Jason Day still in the mix, isn't he? Yeah, you've got Rory again. The injury is. It'd have been yeah, nice yeah. to see Rory the last few months. We've had a better opinion on him. Unfortunately, the the, uh, the injury set him back. You've got your favourite, yeah, Hideki Matsuyama. Yeah, who again is is burning things up at the minute. And then you've got obviously the the likes of Henrik Stenson, Stenson people like that. Yeah. Um, really, really, uh, again, you know, the, the, there's a good few people there. Anyway, that's the question for this week. Get involved where you can, and obviously we've got the little thing about should Rory have played golf with Trump. Um, and then we'll finish off with, I said we'd finish, but I, rem I remembered I'd missed a bit about Paul Casey. Oh, yeah. So he missed out on playing in the, um, in the ride, in qualifying for the uh, Ryder Cup um, last year. Last year, the year before, yeah, last time year. soon goes. Um, and that was largely due to the fact that in terms of world ranking, he would have qualified. Yeah. Um, but because he wasn't playing enough European Tour events, yeah, he didn't he qualify. qualify. Yeah. And there was a debate on, I think again we featured that in one of the shows, there was a debate on should they change the qualification system. But what he's come out and said is he, he, he's not going to qualify no, again. he's not going to play on the European Tour. No. Well, yeah, I think he said he'll play the Open, but that's, and that's it. it. Because he said, um, if you look at some golfers who have done that, play both tours, um, I think he says... He's got Poulter. Luke Donald and... Graham McDowell yeah. as well, yeah. He says um, they kind of fall off the game by playing both. Yeah, it's I mean, difficult <coughs> excuse me, got a bit of a cough this week. Those, um, those, those golfers he mentions, and him included, are all in the 30s, so they're kind of like the, the, the ability to play physically on both tours and the travel and all the rest of it, it takes. He's citing that as being a reason as to why maybe their performance dips, and it's a logical yeah. uh, mention as well. And I still think that going back to the... Um, Qualification for the Ryder Cup. I think it's a real valid point here. I, I personally think there should be a lot more to do with uh, your world ranking, um, and these people shouldn't be overlooked because they're playing on uh, on a PGA Tour. But uh, there you go. That's Paul Casey's decision. Anyway, yeah. he won't be appearing. He won't be qualifying rather. Um, although he could get a wild card pick. Oh, that's fair. Still, that's fair. still get a wild card pick. Um, anyway, right. Moving on. Uh, back at Clark's, and Joey the tweet was back at Clark's this week. Um, we were indoor as well, weren't we? Yeah, upstairs, indoor, upstairs in yeah. the golf lab. Clark's putting lab. Mm -hmm. And uh, it was real interesting, again, um, 
We got asked a question a few weeks back, someone posed a question, uh, why aren't more people doing, or more uh, golf YouTubers doing reviews on putters? And in my opinion, the simple answer is because there is literally, or there are very few facilities where there is um, equipment that pro can provide data to back up what the, uh, the person, yeah. the individual is feeling, sensing, and whether or not they can, like I said, get that backed up with data. So. Uh, we've kind of avoided all those kind of reviews until this week and we were able to, in the Clark's putting lab, we're using a Quintic system and a ba basically, again, very much as a launch monitor um, yeah, so that we use to measure ball flight and whatever. Yeah, it looks at balls and then where your club face ends up. And yeah, it was really interesting, wasn't it? And then calculates all the information from that. Then. Yeah, and it, like I said, on a personal level, it, it also highlights deficiencies, which is never a nice thing to hear, but it does show you the things that are going wrong with your uh, with your putting technique. And again, as an average golfer, no doubt plenty going wrong, and it certainly, uh, there was evidence in there to show me the bits that were wrong and perhaps needed working on. But uh, anyway, I won't go on too much about that. Here's a quick clip from uh, Monday's visit. I've chose something that's similar to what I use currently in a, in a mallet style. We'll get it calibrated on the Quintex system and uh, I'll hit some balls on camera and see if we can prove whether or not with some scientific data that this uh, micro hinge system works. It's got a real uh, nice feel to it. Based on that one put, it, it did what it, it says it does. Straight away, yeah. yeah. Okay, so that was us on uh, Monday morning, and uh, just uh, there'll be two links down below, two videos that we did, and uh, the clip there was from, uh, we tested the Odyssey O-Works range, which is really interesting, and uh, again, maybe worth a quick chat about they've, uh, their micro hinge uh, face technology, which again was all about um, putting top spin, top spin on the onto ball. the ball. Um, again, watch the video, but basically without being too much of a spoiler alert, I mean, it was kind of, it did prove that yeah. there's science in the club head. Um, did what it claimed yeah. um, and to have the data to back that up was was brilliant so we went on from we did the um the old works and we went on to uh ping sigma sit ping sigma range yeah. again which was more about distance control it was yeah so it was about off center wasn't yeah. it if you didn't if basically if you didn't hit the center of the club face that the the distance in which the ball traveled uh, remain the same from both uh, heel and toe and centre. Which again, if you're going to miss it, as long as you've got your pace right, you should be there or thereabouts the whole. That's the theory anyway, isn't it? If you've got the, uh, yeah. like I said, if you've got the pace bit right, it's come out the face all the same. Um, one other thing again, just before I go, so we'll be doing one more uh, review in the next couple of weeks in exactly the same vein, and that's these even roll putters. Oh, um, yeah. We've not seen them yet. Uh, they're coming into Clark's very, very shortly, and we'll do the, the, again the science in the even roll. The claims in terms of the science of the even roll putter seems very, very yeah, interesting quite as well. Yes, yeah. so. so it'll be interesting to see once again on the Quintic system if we can uh, sort of validate some of those claims. Hope you enjoy those. Hope you enjoy the show. I think that's pretty much it this week. That's it, Joe? This week, sure. Uh, this pretty week. serious stuff. I think. Um, Last week's show was absolutely fantastic. Thanks to everyone who got involved. Uh, and last week's show had a real uh, good debate in terms of who is the sort of, uh, I think, best YouTuber or golf YouTuber that is, let's say. But it was a very much a broad question. But lots of people got involved, lots of people watched. As ever, we love the interaction. Again, we got a bit of a shout out from Friday's Golf with yeah. regards to that video as well, which gave us a massive boost in terms of subscribers. To, so thank you to them. And uh, thanks to everyone that does subscribe. If you don't and you're watching this video, then please do so. If you like the video, give us a thumbs up. And like I said previously, all comments greatly appreciated and uh, we love the debate. So uh, that's it from The Average Golf and Joey the Tweet. We'll see you next week. Goodbye. Ciao. Well, that was Hello, Mr. Hey. Is that okay? Is it healthy? Hello, Mr. Hey. Hey. It's recording as well.